Hey, what's up? This is Udolena from Udolena Digital and today I'm going to lead you through Target CPA, a smart bidding strategy from Google. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Udolena and every Sunday I come with a new video on how to run Google Ads, how to run Facebook Ads, all kind of pay-per-click advertising. I also evaluate certain books and courses that I'm taking. So please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some of these videos. Uh, we are about to reach 300 subscribers, which is super exciting for me because I started my channel with zero. I'm super excited about this project and I'm really committed on uh, doing more of this. So today I want to talk about smart bidding from Google Ads. So I'm a Google employee, however, everything that I share in this channel is my voice, is things that I have learned through personal experience. So the topic today is smart bidding. So smart bidding means uh, automation. So when you're running a Google Ads campaign, uh, there are a few main concepts that I want to introduce. So first of all, uh, the bid. Uh, whenever you're using display or a search kind of campaign, you always have to bid. Uh, if you want to see more about how bids and how much you pay per click is calculated, you can check another video that I created, which shows you exactly what it does. Um, so every advertiser in a nutshell has to have a bid. Let's say if they're on display, they're bidding for a different ad group. Uh, if they are on search, they bid per keyword. And keyword is basically any phrase that you want a user to type in Google Ads and you want uh, your ads to be associated with this phrase and to appear in the search results. Um, when it comes to bidding, uh, advertisers can do this manually and this has been preferred by many advertisers until now uh, just because uh, they were able to get things in a very granular level and this is something that uh, especially PPC specialists are very passionate about. Uh, but now uh, Google is using a lot more information to help advertisers actually to uh, cut the, ne the necessary amount of work because it's really huge volume of work that was required in the past and using uh, smart technology, machine learning uh, powered technology to actually automate the bidding uh, in order to optimize for the business goal of their advertisers. Okay, now we've explained the basics of uh, Google Ads and how it works. So what uh, smart bidding does is basically it automates the whole bidding strategy of an advertiser. What is a bidding strategy? So let's look at the signals that advertisers with manual bidding uh, used to uh, use for their campaigns. So when it comes to uh, context of the query, uh, there are several context uh, points that you can take. So there is location, time, device, and whether this user is on a remarketing list. Uh, however, there is a much bigger list of things that you can take into consideration as a signal if you are using smart bidding. So smart bidding actually will automatically pick up uh, location, time, device, browser, which is not possible if you're doing adjustments on your own. Um, remarketing list, um, operating system, the actual query, language, and ad creative. So let's look into this individually. For example, location. Uh, until now, advertisers with manual bidding could make adjustments. Let's say you want people which are in the radius around a specific location uh, to see your ad on the top of the result and you really want to, to get uh, seen on a top position. Uh, from people around this area. So you make an adjustment, let's say plus 200% uh, for users that are in that location. And you can combine this with time. Let's say you want it on the weekend because maybe you have a pop-up stand uh, and you want people to come over weekend in a radius around this pop-up stand uh, and you want them to be on their mobile device. So they're likely to be searching for a place to get a coffee and you have a pop-up stand for coffee, uh, you want to target mobile users. So all these can be combined in one uh, targeting. And this is how usually advertisers use to manage their 
um, their campaigns. Now this is all can be done automatically. So basically smart bidding is going to adjust automatically on all these signals plus some more that we weren't able to use manually. Um, remarketing list. So remarketing list, whether these people have been on your website recently or not. What's great is that smart bidding will also pick up if these people are on a similar list. So let's say if they have similar online behavior to people who have already been on your website. So you can create a similar list, add it to on the back of the campaign and together with your remarketing list. So uh, Google smart bidding will use this to optimize your campaign. If you want to learn more about the different audiences, check my other video, uh, which I created. So you find out what I'm talking about. Um, then browser, whether these users are on, uh, let's say on Google Chrome, on Mozilla, on uh, Internet Explorer, whoever is using that now. Uh, basically, all these can be taken into consideration when uh, setting up the bid. Uh, at the moment, advertisers don't have access to this information. This can only be done with smart bidding from Google. Google has access to this and advertisers cannot make manual adjustments on the browser. Let's say you might have a browser, an extension for a certain type of browser. So you don't want people using other browsers to use this extension. So you can use smart bidding. Smart bidding is going to learn on your history and going to uh, show your ads only on the browsers that you want to appear. Then uh, operating system. Uh, it can be iOS, it can be Android, it can be uh, Microsoft Windows, it can be Google's operating system. Uh, you can actually use different uh, operating system as a signal. So this will be included from the smart bidding solution. You cannot use this as a manual advertiser. Uh, the actual query, this is super important and this is actually information which only Google has. This is exactly the context of the query. So what's the nuance of how likely this person is going to look for something straight away? Let's say how likely they are to take an action immediately. So, you know, there is a difference between someone searching for buy insurance now near me or someone looking for what is an insurance. This is just a very basic example, but this is how Google actually determines uh, based on history using machine learning technology, which queries and what type of queries are more likely to uh, get your users ready to take an action. Because essentially smart bidding is trying to get conversions, is trying to get uh, users to take an action that you want them to take. A conversion can be a call to your business, it can be signing up through a form, it can be filling up a quote, uh, it can be uh, viewing a certain page, uh, you decide what the conversion is. However, Google is going to use all this information to optimize to get you these conversions as much as possible at the desired cost per conversion or cost per acquisition, CPA. This is what the name of this strategy stands for, target CPA. What else you can use? Uh, so Google Ads can uh, use language. So what language this user is, is actually typing in and what language they are likely to be uh, speaking. So you cannot make adjustments uh, on language. You can basically exclude certain language languages or include certain languages in your campaigns, but you cannot make adjustments on a language. Uh, and finally, the ad creative. This is very important. You can check my other video about smart creatives. Uh, where I explain the new different types of ad formats which are responsive, like responsive search ads, responsive display ads, dynamic search ads. So these work very well with smart bidding because these ads actually adjust themselves to the user's query, to the opportunity available, to the bid, uh, to the time of the day. All these signals are taken into consideration and uh, also the right creative is delivered to the right user. So it's tremendous amount of variables in this equation which actually determine the bid. And this is why it's called smart bidding. It's simply because it's very, very hard for a human to actually uh, be so careful and predictive when they're setting up a bid. And it's not possible for a human to set a bid on individual query. Um, so once you have all these signals, what happens is Google is using uh, machine learning technology to uh, predict conversion rate. So conversion rates are predicted on each of these signals and the different combinations of signals. So how likely it is 
for people in central London at 2 p.m. of the day using mobile phone with an Android device who have been before on uh, my competitor's website, uh, they are actually typing on searching for my product or something similar, very similar to my product. They want to buy it near them. They're using English language and they uh, get this ad creative, which is likely to, uh, to be showing this particular product. So uh, basically Google will take all these signals and uh, use prediction to create a prediction on the conversion rate. Uh, so this is actually a very important part. The conversion rate is uh, basically how likely people who click on this ad and land on your landing page are going to take the desired action, what you logged in as a conversion. Then another thing, the query level performance across your account. So we said that actually Google can make prediction based on uh, the actual query and they set the bid automatically on every single query. Also the query level performance of your account. So how different, which queries, uh, which uh, let's say get matched to your keywords perform best uh, for your account. So not which keywords, which queries match to your keywords actually get the right performance. So this is exactly these nuanced searches which actually give Google a signal whether this is someone who is going to convert, who is going to fill up a form, take a call, um, maybe uh, sign up for something, whatever your conversion action is, uh, query level uh, performance. So if your conversion rates in the accounts are low, Target CPA will have harder time to learn and to actually make accurate prediction. So if generally before running a smart bidding strategy, you've been struggling with conversion rate, I would recommend you to work to improve this conversion rate as much as possible uh, so that smart bidding can actually optimize based on it. And finally, your inputted CPA. So this is the part where you stand in. So the only thing that you have to provide to Google Ads is your daily budget and how much you want to pay per acquisition, uh, your target CPA. So let's say if you want to pay no more than 20 pounds per conversion and your budget is 10 pounds, how many conversions you're going to get? Not that many, right? So on average, you're probably going to get maybe one, two conversions per week. So uh, we always recommend you to have your daily budget at least covering the target CPA that you have set up and ideally have it more. Uh, in any case, a target CPA run campaign should not be restricted by budget. And whenever you are assessing performance, you have to exclude the times which uh, you, uh, you would see in a report uh, you will be able to see that this, at this time uh, your uh, performance have been uh, actually hindered by restricted budget. Uh, whenever budget is restricted, the campaign doesn't function that well and you cannot get the right volume of conversions in. I cannot stress this more. Um, another very important thing is make sure that your inputted CPA is realistic. So don't try to be too aggressive from the beginning. So let's say if you run campaign manually and your typical CPA has been 100 pounds, you cannot expect putting a smart bidding solution and setting up target CPA 20 pounds to give you the right volume of conversions. It has to be something close to what you were doing before. Uh, ideally, when you're setting up your smart campaign, uh, smart uh, bidding strategy, you'll be able to see uh, a prediction from Google how much your CPA has to be. And I strongly advise you to take this recommendation uh, and use this prediction because this is based on your account history or uh, the account history of advertisers similar to you. Uh, so this is very, very achievable CPA. When you have a very low, very aggressive CPA, it's very likely that the system is going to struggle and you're not going to get too many conversions uh, from it. And this is one of the main reasons why people actually give up from smart bidding is they don't see results straight away. Also, one very important thing, smart bidding is powered by machine learning. So what does machine learning need? Machine learning needs a learning phase. So typically there will be like one or two weeks of a learning phase when you're using target CPA Depending on your history, depending on the conversion rates in your account, uh, depending on how many conversions you have as a history, 
depending on your input and CPA and daily budget, this can be shorter or longer. But typically you will have one or two weeks when the campaign is learning, is trying different things in order to come up with these right predictions. So during that time, avoid making any big changes to your account. So avoid adding a lot of new keywords, change your, la your landing page. Uh, or changing the conversion action because this can influence uh, and this can actually increase the learning phase. Once the learning phase is over and you're running without restricted by budget campaign, let it run for another couple of weeks before finally taking a decision whether this campaign is performing better than your manual, uh, manual conversions. So always assess the same time of period uh, and you try to assess also uh, the same type of season, make sure that seasonality is not playing a big role. So let's say when you were running your manual CPC was Christmas time and suddenly everything was happening and now it's January, you're running smart bidding and you're not getting that many results. It's not the smart bidding fault, it's just the season. So make sure that you take into consideration all these, um, these uh, factors when you're assessing performance. And finally, make sure that you allow the campaign enough time to learn. So this is all from me for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll be back with a new video next week.